doll in that diamond cutter, boy. Pah! What's up, y'all? Big C coming at you. Roll call. Look, dude, today is the story that y'all been waiting for. Story time, story time, story time. <laughs> This is about the Booty Bandit, but it's not your average Booty Bandit story. Straight up, you've never heard a story like I'm about to tell you. Smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button. Ooh, ooh, just like that. But point is, is this. So many people are scared of the Booty Bandits. You know, they can, like, smell it, and they find that thing, and then they just pounded it in. So, literally, this is a story about my dude. He was a, you know what I'm saying? He was a homosexual. He looked like a cross between 1090 Jake and Josh. For lockdown 23 and 1, so you know he's ugly. But the point is, is this. Literally, he was like the tattoo guy there, and they called him. Literally, he was called Jokester. And so, like, first of all, you don't get a tattoo from a guy called Jokester. But literally, just listen to me. He literally came up with an idea, and he talked in all the people. Like the skinheads, the black dudes, the Pisces, the black Hispanic dudes. Like all them dudes. He talked all these dudes in like one cell block into getting a tattoo on the booty hole. And he straight up told me, he's like, look, dude, if you want the booty bandit to get you, I'll just make your booty hole camouflage. Remember, this dude's homosexual, right? And this is the same dude that literally would get really drunk and spun out on perk tins. And, like, he would be like a white dude. And they'd be like, yo, put a portrait of my daughter right here. And he would draw, like, a picture of a black girl on that white dude's arm. If it was a black girl, he would, and the black dude, he'd be like, yo, put this picture of my girl. He would draw a white girl on there. And they would get so, like, pissed off at him, but he was the only tattoo man there. So just imagine this. Imagine yoked up dudes like Wes Watson. And, um, who's that homosexual? Looks like a Tootsie Roll. Um, what's his name? Big Hurt. Imagine these big old brothers, big old white dudes. But literally, people lived in fear of the booty bandits. And so imagine like a big yoke. They bent over like this. Imagine coming in the room. He's like, I'm almost done, dude. Ooh, is that a pimple? He literally talked these dudes into tattooing their buttholes. And they thought, literally, that it was camouflage. He tattooed camouflage. And everyone thought that was stupid. Literally, dude, there was no booty bandit attacks after that. Because literally, imagine being a booty bandit and you put like some zannies in some dude's drink. And you shove him down on the bed all of a sudden you're like, wrong, dude. I can smell the booty hole, but like, where is it? So you see him fumbling around on his upper back, on his calves. Like literally, the thing that trips you out is it actually camouflaged the booty holes. Literally. There was like two like booty bandits that committed suicide. Because literally, they couldn't find the booty holes no more on these dudes. I know it's the thing, like, yo, Big Sid, you've got one shard too many. Nah, dude, I haven't done any shards since yesterday. Straight up. Literally, this tattoo dude would sit there like this, and sometimes, like, he'd be like, dude, don't you do it. They're like, ah, oh, man, I'm just playing, don't you do it. And he literally be like, yeah, and put, like, a line across their butt cheek, straight up. Because they, you know, he would tattoo camouflage. And it worked. Literally, Pete, the booty bandits cannot find people's booty holes. So, literally, this tattoo artist, even though he's like a weirdo homosexual, be smelling his fingers and stuff, they'd be like, what you doing, man? And he'd be like, it was stupid, man. But the point is, is this. He literally had like a mural on the wall of his face like this. Because people were just like, like the brothers were like, yeah, you solid, dude. And the white guys were like, yeah, Viking, you solid. You a solid, you know, brother. Literally, he saved so many dudes, uh, uh, booty holes, man, in like... Honestly, dude, even though he's like a jokester and a homosexual, like, um, he was a hero to the prisoners. And to this day, people, see, listen, all these little prison channels, all of them, they ain't man enough to tell you. Wes Watson, 1090 Jake, K-Frog, 23 and 1, at the prison show. They all know about the camouflage booty hole tattoos, but there ain't nothing but, but a yoked up white dude, Big Sid, that has the gojones to tell you. That's a real thing. So, youngsters, if you're out there and you're looking at some time, say you, you done took your sentence, and your parents are going to be turning you in in two weeks, Bro, go to the tattoo shop and tell them straight up, I want my booty hole camouflage. I want that camouflage tattoo on my booty hole. It will be the biggest investment you've ever made in your manhood, bro. Straight up, dude. It's the truth. That's a real thing. So literally, people go up to him and say, yo, thank you for your service. And like some people even salute him like this. And they put their fingers back up there because literally, the booty hole tattoo, it ain't a myth. Straight up, it works. I don't got one on my booty hole straight up.
Ain't nobody steps to Big City. Y'all know where I stay. Pull up. Straight up. Every YouTube channel, side point, pull up. But that look, that's the truth. The booty hole tattoo works. So remember, young people, before you go do that time, make sure you get that camouflage. And this has to be in black and white and like a, a dark shade of green. Now, the one thing that was weird was a lot of people were like, yo, do I have to shave your booty hole if you're hairy? Straight up, no. He would just, like, he said it added it's like the camouflage. It kind of looked like, you know, like a, a duck blind. They're hiding back there. Like, rrr, rrr. That's what it looked like. Straight up. And it's the truth, man. Straight up truth, man. That All these other prison channels lying on you. That's a real thing, dude. You message all these other prison channels. They straight up will tell you in the DMs, man. Like, yeah, that's real. But they too scared to say it, dude. So that's the truth about the booty bandits, man. That like you wanna stay, you wanna stay shy of that. There's two ways to do it. You can be me, and everyone's scared of you. So that's not an option. No one's me but me. Second, get that camouflage booty hole tattoo. Just imagine that booty bandit. I can smell it, but I can't see it. These booty bandits were freaking out, bro. Freaking out. Cause they could smell it, they could never see it, couldn't find it. They'd be fumbling around on his elbow and stuff. Be like, yo, dude. It's like they couldn't find it. So this is a big scene saying stay sober. Stay away from the booty bandits and straight pull up, killers.